already done. Broke tiles on there. So, you are looking at a new pond project I am working on. Indoor, obviously. Uh, I'm just kind of show you a little overview of it right now, of everything around it. I got quite a few plants around it. It actually makes it look really nice. Uh, this pond is, I'm not exactly sure the full amount, but it's roughly 25 to 30 gallons. Uh, I am using a storage tote. I uh, looked up a lot of uh, DIY stuff about making indoor ponds like this, and that just kind of inspired me, I guess you can say, to do it like this. Um, this is not going to be for the beta fish, it's actually going to be a whole another separate pond. Uh, my beta fish galaxy is right at the moment in a two gallon uh, homemade two gallon aquarium. Uh, just temporarily, I gotta change his water soon too. He's been in there for about a week. Uh, he's only in there temporarily. I went ahead and moved around his pond a little bit and I got cleaned out. I still gotta put water in it. Uh, but he's just in the two gallon for just temporarily and he'll, he's been doing fine. Uh, but anyway, back to this pond. It's roughly 25 30 gallons, I'm at 100% sure. Uh, just got some sticks here. Just, without them, they actually cut this kind of look kind of empty and bare. But, uh, these sticks right here, I actually have, it's actually supporting the uh, side because of this being just a storage container. The plastic wasn't thick enough to support all the water, all the weight of the water. So, these is actually holding the it up. I mean, it would have been fine without it. It just it has this bow that it bows out because of the water. Um, and this is not the pump and filter that we're going to be primarily using for this. It's just right now I'm just using it to keep the water clear uh, because this was a very cloudy in the first couple of days that I had set it up. But I have a uh, I just got an aqua clear, clear 70 gallon uh, filtration pump. Uh, I got it from a, friend, a good friend of mine that keeps fish and he gave it to me because he just no longer needed it because he switched to a different type of filter filtration. Uh, I'm just waiting on an impeller, replacement impeller for the pump and then that will be used in this and it'll keep it really, really, really clean, really crystal clear and then this whisper, 10 gallon whisper filter will go back in to Galaxy's Pond, the Beta Fish Pond, or Beta Fish, let me correct myself there. Um, so yeah, some of the, I'll go ahead and go over to some of the plants. Uh, this is a, I don't remember what they call this, I did have this in with my chameleon, a mass cane plant, and that's it. Uh, it's not all that full, it just has these two stocks right here. Um, I've had to trim it several times when it was in the chameleon gauge because it was just crowding it so badly. You can see where the focus where I cut pieces off, one on the other side, but there's one sprout right here growing out. I believe there's, yeah, there's another one right there just growing out. So this will eventually get fuller. Um, then right here, I got some pastas. They're doing pretty good. They're not actually in the water. What I did, I took a small critter keeper, turned it upside down, well, filled it with water so that it doesn't float. <laughs> and then I just set the pot of the hostas right on top of it. That way they're not directly in the water or anything, but they still make the pot look nice. And then this right here, I've done the same thing. Not actually in the water. This is a oak sapling. There's two in here. Um, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of experimenting. They're a little dry, but I'm experimenting, so I'm trying to see if I can get them to grow. And then I also have another one in here as well. And another pasta. This one was looking really pitiful for the longest time, but it is growing back. Uh, and you can see this one little about to open that little leaf. Um, and Green Galaxy, you might as well show you. So, him off since you guys love him so much. 
Uh, and then I just got some ferns that I got from outside. But that's okay because they're not as you go into the enclosure. And they're just super, super easy to get the roots off. So yeah, and then as for the pond, the rocks are all from outside, they're all natural rocks. Except some of this gravel, it's actually some pet gravel, fish gravel that I put in there to fill in some spots. I actually don't think it looks too bad. Uh, the rocks were all obviously safely sanitized and they're all fish. They're sanitized with fish safe water and fish safe yeah, soaps. So yeah, I was actually going to wait until the pond was completely finished to show you guys, but I just, I needed something, some type of content to upload. So I thought I'd just do an update about it and let you guys see. Uh, so as soon as I get the replacement part for my filtration, this will be complete. Well, not complete, but once I get some fish in it, I will be complete. I'm not gonna go huge, like I'm not gonna get big fish, I'm just gonna get small fish that only reach like three, four inches. Uh, just because this isn't that big of a pond. I mean it's big, but it's not enough to have like giant fish in it. That'd be nice though. Maybe one day. Let's see. And as far as Galaxy's Pond, uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do exactly. I'm gonna do something more different with it. Uh, if you guys look back to my first video about this pond, I had a little waterfall and everything. I might do something similar to that, but I might change it up. I'm going to see about getting some other plants as well. Um, so yeah, soon it will be finished. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to try uploading a little more often. I've just been kind of busy. but. I'm going to try uploading as often as possible, um, so please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Reptiles and Knives 101, or no, I can't even forget to remember my username. Uh, I believe it's Reptiles and Knives. <laughs> Not really that horrible. Anyway, so yeah, thanks for like, commenting, and subscribing. Talk to you later.